To me, the creator is life. The creator is why I do what I do. People have forgotten who the creator is in so many ways, especially my people. My career started really in Hollywood by me standing on stage for the 1995 Canada Winter Games, standing alongside an elder as he did the opening prayer for the ceremonies, which had never been filmed ever live on television. I did that and then a camera came by me and a producer out of Toronto seen me and said, did you ever think of going to the acting modeling business because you have the hair, the face, the look, and I says, uh, no, not really. Next thing I know, I'm in uh, Italy with Harvey Keitel and the late David Bowie shooting a spaghetti western. And from there, I went on to Hollywood. I got to work with Skeet Ulrich, Kira Knightley, Gary Busey, Josh Brolin. So it's been a blessing in so many ways. And what I love about my life and my career in Hollywood is I get to play me as an indigenous human being. In 2009, I had to make a choice. It was either end up like most people in Hollywood, losing myself, losing my own identity, losing my soul, my spirit. And I chose to go back home, reconnect with my spiritual base, and went on a six year sabbatical. And spent six years revisiting and finding balance emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. I didn't know the sacredness or the value of having emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual balance in life. Because of mental, physical, and sexual abuse I experienced as a child, a lot of it relates to the assimilation of my people, the uh, residential schools of, that my people have experienced. I got to see the true impact of the residential schools on my people, on my community, the colonized way of thinking that my community was coming from, how they were rejecting our ceremonies, our spiritual beliefs, because my home community had two residential schools. I realized when I went home and these youth were in dire straits because they weren't being taught their, the language. They weren't being allowed to access their elders because that was all literally put aside because of the colonial way of thinking. Because I never had to bury my friends the way these young people were being buried. I overcame my darkness in life by returning back to understanding my ancestral knowledge as an indigenous human being, that the elders taught me, the ceremonies healed me, and my language guided me through the whole process. And that's why I'm grateful for my creator, because at the root of it all is the creator sits in everything in every moment in life, so.
For me, my role right now that I see uh, for Truth and Reconciliation is what I'm doing in Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta. Doing Indigenous Awareness Week with a, uh, a police officer and walking with this police officer to bring together our Indigenous people and our non-Indigenous brothers and sisters to hopefully set a precedence that we all need to come together in unity as a nation and as a people, both Indigenous and non-Indigenous. There's only one race in life and that's the human race. The reason we're wanting to do it here at the old fort is because this is kind of where it all started for our settlers coming into, coming onto Turtle Island. And it's just to show the coming together of two worlds in today's day and age. Uh, I believe it is a great step forward for both Indigenous and non-Indigenous people for coming together to learn about culture, show respect, and start a conversation in moving this country forward. Well, for myself, I think Indigenous Awareness Week coming up in Fort Saskatchewan is going to be a very big event. And the reason I say that is because Fort Saskatchewan wants to be an inclusive community. We want to ensure that all people who live in this community, visit this community, feel that they are being treated as equals. So to have uh, visitors or our citizens be able to participate in this, I think it's going to be uh, just an excellent event. My greatest hope for my people is to have our children and their children's children live and walk in a world filled with love, light, and unity. And for my grandson to say and to be able to speak his language and to be openly and to openly practice his language ceremonies without shame or guilt. My future hope for the Indigenous and the non-Indigenous people on Turtle Island and throughout Mother Earth is to have a common understanding that there's only one race in life and that's the human race. And we have to learn to coexist in this day and age because neither of us are going anywhere. Stop.